Welcome at the virtual tour of Natec. Of course, we cannot get together physically, but we're going to make a round around the world. And today I'm talking to Simon the Sitter from Suntec. And that is a very special person because I think Simon, Suntech is one of the oldest suppliers of Natec. I think the first one and for a very, very long time, right? Yeah, that's correct. So uh, actually we delivered the first container to Natec in uh, 2004. So it's already 17 years ago. Yeah, and I think also, I mean, I have to congratulate you if you sing you a song. Happy birthday to you, uh, Simon. Happy birthday to Suntech because you have been you you are you have your 20th birthday and 17 years of that are together with natec so that is really not a, that's really a, a fantastic uh, result so congratulations thank you very much <laughs> okay so um i want to ask you uh, how have you been doing i mean last year when we talked uh, it was very exciting it was uh, covid 19 was just beginning we didn't know if we had enough logistics how did you uh, how did you survive last year <laughs> Now, actually, surprisingly, uh, the production in China was uh, was picking up very fast again. So we actually didn't have any um, shortage in Europe for for solar modules. So it uh, so the market was was growing as expected, and uh, it's not only in the Netherlands but also in Germany, in Poland, in Italy, in Spain. So in all the countries, we were really growing uh, very strongly also last year. Yes. Yeah, amazing. So it was a great year for the solar business. So, so and, yes, and, and production yes. went on. Yeah. And how was it yes, to work it, with you? Uh, for you to work from home and to do all the uh, business, not to do, not to be face to face, but to do everything through through things like this. Yeah, face to face is always better, of course. But what we learned over the year is that we can do a lot of business also, uh, yeah, via this kind of media. So it is it is possible. Yeah, and uh, so we can save a lot of travel costs around Europe. That is, uh, that's for sure. <laughs> but are you looking forward uh, to Munich? Yeah, for the show in Munich. You mean the Intersolar? Yeah, yeah, of course. It is. It is always nice to be there. But uh, I'm not sure if we can go there this week, this year. I don't okay. think so. Well, it's it's very it's it basically it's a tribute to everybody that everybody's working together so smoothly, is using the new technology. And that uh, that uh, from China that the production came on, uh, came uh, last year and that we had a top year. So let's um, can you maybe tell us a little bit about um, what's happening with the um, w with the products? Because I think uh, because you were at your 20th birthday, you introduced a whole new warranty. I mean, the warranty of uh, SunTech has always been great, but you have uh, expanded it. Can you talk about that? Yes, actually, we, we expand the warranty uh, from from uh, a 12 year to 15 years. Uh, so when we start 20 years ago, the warranty was 10 years. So somewhere somehow uh, 10 years ago, we, we moved that to 12 years. And now, uh, yeah, we go up to 15 years. Uh, so, yeah. And what's really the difference great. between the power warranty and the normal warranty? What are the, the differences in that? Yeah, the power warranty is 25 years. It was from the beginning, and it is still it is still 25 years. Uh, so the product warranty is more the mechanical pro uh, warranty on the module, so the frame yeah. and the glass and so on. Yeah, and so you and you basically have always paid a lot of attention to warranty, and uh, there's now also a third party uh, evaluation and warranty insurance. What is that? Yeah, actually, we're already uh, working together with uh, Munich Re. It's, an, uh, it's a German insurance uh, uh, company um, for a couple of years now. And uh, actually, what it does is that um, in case Suntech went into a bankruptcy case or whatever else, that we cannot guarantee the warranty anymore to our, inst to our customers, yeah. then this, uh, uh, this uh, in the insurance company is coming in place and so it's take over the warranty on top, on, on top of warranty. So that's very good. Yes. Okay, let's yes. talk about the products because there is an amazing expanding amount of uh, sizes and, uh, and power and, 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 and products. Um, how would you describe that? And how does it basically compare to, uh, to, to the different waves in the industry? In the beginning, you also had a lot of sizes. Can you talk about that uh, from your historical perspective? Now, yeah, actually, we start with a lot of sizes 20 years ago. And, and then during, uh, during the years, we try to make a kind of a standardization. Um, but now you see that we're moving to uh, bigger cells. And bigger cells means we also have, we are also forced to have uh, uh, also different outside dimensions of the modules. 
Mm-hmm. But we try to make it as easy as possible for uh, for our customers. So uh, the focus products at the moment is the Ultra S, the Ultra V, and the Ultra X. And the Ultra S is the old module we are already producing now for around uh, three years. Yeah. And um, um, so this is still the old module uh, size, and we and we not stop this this size module. So so because we know a lot of customers also like this uh, uh, outside dimensions of of this product. So we will keep this product uh, running in our production. Yeah. So it's the Ultra S, and that's in, divided in two uh, groups: the Ultra S and the and the Mini uh, and the Mini size. So this is the old workhorse. This is basically you've been. This is in business for a couple of years, right? Yeah, this is a business for a couple of years. So you see here also the outside dimensions. Oh, this is the bigger module for for especially for for uh, for for uh, free field projects. That uh-huh. is uh, uh, two, two two meters ninety five, and and this one is the mini one. Uh, so that is also for the residentials or, or for rooftops. Yeah. And that's one thousand seven hundred and fifty six by uh, one thousand twenty nine. Okay, and then this is the new business, the new uh, the new products. Yes, this is the Ultra V series. So uh, we have here the one hundred and eighty two millimeter cell. The other one, uh, the old one, is the one hundred and sixty six millimeter. This is the one hundred and eighty two millimeter cell. So this will be also the runner for Europe, the Ultra V series. So you okay. see, from from quarter one, uh, uh, two thousand and twenty one, we are producing this module. So it is now in production. And uh, somewhere in April, the first modules will arrive in Europe. Okay. And that is, hey. um, yeah. And then you also have an Ultra V Plus. Yeah, the Ultra V Plus, that is, uh, that is with the 182 millimeter cells as well. And, yeah. and then you see we have, uh, yeah, we're going up to uh, 590 uh, watt, watt peak. Yeah, and then we have different dimensions uh, for that. So okay, basically, and what what? So this is the uh, this again. We have the half cells and the uh, the Ultra V and the Ultra V Mini, and the the Plus, and then here are again the uh, the uh, outside uh, outside outside uh, dimensions. Yes, correct. Okay, and how compatible are they with the previous uh, with the previous panels? Yeah, for example, if you if you take a look to the residential market, what is very big in in Europe and, and, yeah. and especially in the Netherlands and Germany, um, and there you see that we have this Ultra V um, with the standard with the Ultra S. We have around 360 watt peak for the full black module, and here you see we go up to 400 watt peak for an, yeah. a full black module. Yeah, and this is so a we have really, really a really higher power class. Yeah, do you think? This really will be the new normal, or how do you see that uh, developing? Yes, I see the Ultra V uh, as the new normal, as the new standard for the coming years. So the Ultra S will be in production for the customers that really like it. But my expectation is after one year, uh, the Ultra S will running out and be going on with the Ultra V and the Ultra X. Okay, so let's go to the real big sizes, the Ultra X. Yes. Okay, so that is also um, that is starting in Q two. Yeah, I don't know. That is H two. Oh, no, so second half, second August, half August, year, September. Q3, yeah, yeah, Q3. yeah. So okay. my expectation is the first modules will arrive somewhere in uh, September, October in Europe. Okay, but this okay, is especially a module for 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 uh, free field installations. Uh, yeah. Uh, so these bucket, but they talk about uh, Germany or, or, or Italy or, or Spain. So where you have free field installations. Not yeah, in the yeah. Netherlands, they have mostly rooftops. Okay, yeah. So okay, this is um, yeah, this is especially for projects, big projects. Yeah, you see here we have a power rating of six hundred sixty watt peak uh, per module. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So here we have the short overview. Uh, you see, we still have also the poly module. Uh, there are still customers that really like poly module, but it's it's a very small production capacity we have. So it's maybe ten percent and ninety percent is a mono production. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, then you can here see uh, actually the overview of the power output development over the years so of the production. Yeah. Uh, how big do you think those yeah. big sizes, those X uh, X sizes, uh, the Ultra X? Uh, how, how big will? How what percentage of shipments will you do? Uh, I think for 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 greenfield for for for, for projects, uh, it, I'm I'm talking now about Europe, eh? so not over the yep. world, but for Europe, uh, I think it will be around uh, 20, 25 percent. Okay. And the rest, uh, and the, and then the biggest part will be the Ultra V. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Then if we look at uh, how much more efficient uh, has it become? Yes, because it's not so it's not so complicated to make a high, higher power class uh, uh, module eh? because you make it bigger and you have a higher higher power class. But it, it's also important is the cell efficiency is that also uh, getting better? Mm -hmm. And that's what you see in, in here. Is it, so you see the watt peak per square meter, and then you see with the one hundred and sixty six cell. Uh, so you see it is red and orange, a little bit green. But you see with the 182 and the 210 millimeter cell that we also have a higher uh, efficiency cell. So the module will be definitely better than yep. the older ones. Yeah, so that is definitely, that's important to see how much that has increased and that is continuing to increase the efficiency. So that's uh, really good. Also, what's really important is the modules per string. Yes, that is that is really uh, very good by the Ultra V series. So the Ultra V series, we have uh, actually a special design with the 182 cell, uh, also the outside dimensions. So we make, um, yeah, we, we have make a module that we have more modules in the string. So for example, with the with the uh, with the existing modules, so we have mm -hmm. around. 30, 27, 26, uh, 30 modules per string. But with the Ultra V series, we can put 40 modules in, in one string for the inverter. So yeah. we're also saving their cost for the installer. That is a lot. That is also efficiency on another thing. So this has been the result of 20 year uh, products. Um, and I think that's that's really impressive that you, after all these years, that you're still working on all these uh, all these new uh, sizes and all these new uh, trends. What do you what can you tell us about the trends which you see in the, if you look at Europe and uh, what's the difference between Northern Europe, Southern Europe, Eastern Europe, Western Europe? Can you see some differences in uh, in trends which you see from your perspective? Now, if you if you take Europe at the moment, so we have two really big markets. That is, uh, first of all, the Netherlands, and secondly, Germany. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, so for example, if you if you take the Netherlands, uh, so last year we did uh, around 1.5 gigawatt. Uh, in 2019, 2020 mm -hmm. it was 2.5 gigawatt, and this year we expect to be to 3.5 gigawatts. So compared to Germany last year, it was five gigawatts. Okay, it is more than the Netherlands, but if you take a look to uh, the watt peak per uh, capita uh, yeah. per person, it is much higher in the Netherlands. So it is it was never so high in another country in Europe. So the Netherlands is a really extremely strong market at the moment. Yeah. Um, but also Germany is growing and, and 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 Poland, of course. Poland is a very interesting market uh, for the coming years. Uh, but also other East Europe, former East European uh, countries. Uh, it's also a very strong uh, You growth. see that it's really coming up. And, and why is that? Is that because of uh, uh, because it's so cheap nowadays to do that? Or is it because the governments are, uh, are, are think it's important or it's European uh, policy? It's, it's a European policy. So it's a really European policy, especially to the east of Europe. So, so you have to go green. Eh? So you have to. Uh, so this is the policy actually from, from also from Brussels, also mm -hmm. with subsidies and so on and so on. Yeah. Okay. What do you expect uh, 2021? What kind of year do you expect, uh, Simon? More and more grow. Uh, <laughs> so we, we we going on, we going on. It is not stopping anymore. So this this business is so big already that that you cannot stop it anymore. So it is, uh, um, yeah. Especially the Netherlands will grow very fast. Uh, Germany will stay a little bit stable around five gigawatts. Uh, so Netherlands is growing to three gigawatts. But also Poland is, is growing. Uh, Spain is picking up again. Um, France will picking up again. How much will Poland do, uh, just to have an idea? I mean, we do three gigawatt. How much will Poland do this year, do you think? I don't have to figure uh, at the moment, but it is, it, it gets much more less. But, but it's, it, it will be really a market for the future. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's nice that all these different markets speak at a different moment. Uh, do you expect any problems with uh, pricing and, 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 um, and availability? Because of all that growth, or will it? Um, do you think um, all the that your con your company will be able to provide everything? No, actually, we we actually doubled the uh, the uh, the uh, production capacity uh, last year. So oh from gosh. from five gigawatt, we double it to ten gigawatts. So we have a production capacity of ten gigawatts now. And this year, the plan will that we that we try to double it again. 
Yeah. Again, my Again. gosh, what a yeah. doubling. Yeah. What, yeah. Um, what's your biggest worry? I mean, because all the signs are green, the market is growing, your production capacity, what, what, what is really worrying? What is the, the stuff which uh, we really have to work on, pay attention to? Yeah, we, we, we actually reached a price level. So when I started in solar, so uh, one solar module was around uh, 600 euro. Now one solar module is around uh, 40, 50, 60 euro. So the price is that low at the moment. And actually over the years, uh, customers uh, expecting a lower, lower, lower prices. But we're coming to a point that, that we cannot go lower anymore. So you see now if the transport cost will change a little bit or the aluminium price will change a little bit or glass or whatever, then you directly see it back in the price that it's going up, it's going down, it's going up, it's going down. So yeah, yeah, this yeah is what, actually the other actually... stuff is much more important. Uh, I mean, the, the, yes. the inverter, the price of the inverter, the price of the and, and the insulation and, and to make that more efficient, that is yes. needed to make the price go down. I mean, you guys have done a fantastic job to drive the price down. It's just like mm -hmm. amazing. And then, yeah. again, the, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but what you also saw this this year, so the transport prices went up very strongly because of COVID. Uh, a lot of container ships uh, stop stopped. Uh, yeah, actually, so so then you see that the price will 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 go up by ten percent only mm -hmm. for transport prices. So, it is this. Yeah, we are really low at the moment in the yeah. price level. How is how is uh, if you have contact with China? How is life over there? Do you um, do they are they back to normal? They they actually back to normal. Yeah, good back to normal. What is normal in this time? So still they have COVID, of course, but uh, but but the production is uh, was already very very fast back to normal. Actually, it was only around six, seven, eight weeks, and then the production was totally back to normal. Yeah. Okay. Well. Thank you very much, uh, Simon. I see that you're well prepared for an, an, another excellent year. I hope to see you uh, live, that we can grab a beer in Munich. That will be fun. Yes, I do hope so as well. Yeah. I mean, you look like a, a very exciting place that you sit there, <laughs> that, you, that your background where you're hanging out. Yeah, Is this your home, home or home. are you in the office? Yeah. Uh, no, it's office, but home office, yes, yes. <laughs> the home office, yeah. So yes, I hope yes. uh, to be able to talk to you uh, uh, at in Munich, that will be fun to see uh, to see at the solar and and thanks very much for this update.